How's it guys? Gus the African Plant Hunter here. It's evening time. The sun is setting and I've got a little bit of that lovely sort of uh, orangey uh, sunset light on my face which is about to disappear. So I want to talk really 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 quickly about this amazing tree behind me. Can you see it? The one that looks like a bunch of deformed human limbs which is called Cusonia arborea or in English it's known as the octopus cabbage tree. Octopus supposedly because it has eight leaves, but in fact it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or five or nine or ten leaflets on its compound digitate leaf. So a little bit variable. Um, it's a very remarkable tree. It's found all over Africa. It's actually a succulent, this tree. The succulent parts are the roots and the tubers that are underground, which are edible. They don't taste great. If you eat too much, you might get a little bit sick, but that's just part of the story. A well known for its very corky bark, which is used by little kids um, as a float. Uh, so you take a bit of the bark and you just put it on your fishing line and, and when you're fishing, uh, it's a float. It's also used, so the wood inside there is used sometimes in some places to make uh, the marimba, the sort of African xylophone, um, supposedly has a really beautiful sound. Um, although we more often use the Terracarpus angolensis, the mukka, which is a hardwood in this part of the world. Well, the cabbage tree uh, has many medicinal uses uh, across Africa. It's found all the way from Sierra Leone in the west over to uh, Sudan in the east and down to somewhere else beginning with an S. That would be South Africa and in South Africa and everywhere in between. And it likes to go on rocky soils, often on, on hillsides, on slopes. I don't know if you can see, this is just outside my home. Um, and there's, we're on top of a big hill here, um, or sticking out the side of the hill, the, the, the rocky hill. This tree has uh, very many, as I said, medicinal uses, mostly associated with the root, the tubers. One of the uses is for curing madness. Luckily in my family, we don't have anyone like that that needs that cure. Uh, Dioscorides. The uh, ancient Greek doctor that first, or herbalist or whatever, that first outlined what they call the theory of signatures. A theory that um, humans used uh, plants that looked like a particular part of the body to help heal that particular part of the body. Um, so he was talking about, for example, liverwort that looks like a liver is used to treat liver. And he was just saying, you know, this is basically, this is the way we think as human beings. Anyway, this plant, um, as you can see, does have these extraordinary branches, which right now are all covered in leaves. But during the dry season, they're, they're bare. Um, and they do look all kinds of twisted and whatever. And so uh, this plant has been used many times in Africa as a treatment for uh, deformed limbs um, and for leprosy. And I've even heard of people using it for amputation, but I think once you amputated, you pretty much are amputated. Um, but anyway, that's one of the, uh, the traditional uses of it. And it has been researched more recently for pharmaceutical applications, mostly to do with diabetes. And, which is exciting, exciting stuff, uh, new triterpenes have been identified in, uh, so compounds that have been found in the, the triterpenes and glycosides, been found in the tubers and the root bark. And those have been used um, in various trials relating to immune system and immunomodulation and looks like they have some serious positive effects there. I think that's all I need to tell you now about this Cusonia arborea, the uh, octopus cabbage tree. Um, here at my home in Zimbabwe, enjoying a little bit of last minute evening sunlight after a very, very, very heavy few days of rain associated with Cyclone Idai, which I'm sure you guys heard of, which has been catastrophic but anyway i'm standing here now it's a beautiful evening the sun is just about to go down and i'm sending you all wherever you are the warmest wishes i'm gus the african plant hunter it's my mission in life to bring little tidbits about african medicinal plants to the rest of the world i hope you've enjoyed it if you do if you'd like to you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you'll see plenty more like this hope to see you again all right thanks guys bye bye